Hey guys, before I start the video, I wanna give a quick shout out to Clash Clinic. He designed the channel banner that you guys uh, may have seen. It's a new banner, much cooler than my old one. Uh, so he's been giving me a hand with that kind of stuff, graphic design, and he might help me out with some more graphic design stuff in the future. So I really appreciate it. You can check out his channel. Just started at Clash Clinic, has some good stuff there. And right here, I'll go ahead and show the banner if you haven't seen it already. Pretty cool looking, uh, I really like it. So big thanks to Clash Clinic, check them out and hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video, this is a live on War Day video. Going to be catching some live attacks for you guys today. This is against Supreme. You can see our bases here. They are two for two on three stars against our Town Hall 9s thus far. And you can see their bases. A few Town Hall 11s mixed in, as you might have saw as we go through here, um, mixed in lower than they should be, actually. If you take a scout, they do have a few bases that you could kind of call engineered. I guess you would call engineered with the non-max Town Hall 10 stuff, but already have the max Town Hall 11 Warden. It uh, looks like three other bases are like this. This one, even more exaggerated still. And then this one, uh, probably the most uh, engineered of them all. So nothing uh, too personal against this clan, but we are at a disadvantage. So we'll do our best, but I think we have a good shot. Hard to tell. We just started, but they already have some good attacks. So we'll go ahead and hang out and see what attacks we can catch going live. Some Town Hall 9s, hopefully, and maybe even some Town Hall 10s, depending on uh, just who attacks when and if I'm on to see those. So I'll be right back with the first live attack. Here we go. Uh, let's see, who is this? Whiskey Raider. Um, looks like we're not too late. Uh, balloon right there on the mortar. Coming in with some golems. This is going to be a hog attack. So we'll see how this works out coming at a very flat side of the base here and doing what is pretty much a standard practice now when you do these hog attacks, a very wide funnel, letting those wizards take out all those defenses along the side was really successful at the top, got lots of those defenses with the wizards. That's kind of a new thing we're seeing. But this guy has some Teslas, it looks like, uh, kind of guarding that right side of the base, might even have more. That third golem was late, with that second or his third golem, I don't know. But a golem was late there, so... Gonna see how he has to deal with his Tesla farm. It might work out okay with that wizard behind. That was a good wizard to drop. Meanwhile, his kill squad goes in, actually gets all the way to the queen. I think that was the plan. That big middle compartment allowed him to get that queen taken out with his king. The bowler's looking like they're doing good. Uh, has them in there, getting the rage effect, taking out quite a few defenses. The queen sitting back. That third golem... Um, this is a fresh hit, but I guess it just worked out nicely with that golem actually going to the Tesla farm and with the wizard behind it pretty much going through the entire Tesla farm, getting all that taken out. And of course the hogs coming through, you can see here, and they pretty much destroyed this base. So actually I thought at first it might not be, uh, be going to go for much, but no, it works out great. Nice attack to Whiskey Raider. Um, yeah, it couldn't have gone better and looks like he has a heal spell left over. Plenty of time for cleanup. It looks like yeah, he has an archer for that corner builder hut. Good thing to remember there. And just a matter of time as the troops go around the outside. A little balloon for cleanup. We'll go ahead and uh, continue the word train here. Uh, good stuff. Let's uh, back out. I guess I will wait for him to clean up. Then we'll go ahead and back out. Make sure no other attacks are going in live. But yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Starting us off with a three star. Fresh hit. Uh, good. <laughs> Good job to Whiskey Raider. Okay, and there it is. 100% three star. Good stuff there. Um, Let's see. Yeah, still playing, yeah. Honestly, I haven't been on as much as I should, but uh, I'm getting back into it, and I want to make sure I'm prepared because I'm going to be uh, trying to get into some of these CWL Premier Wars that Genesis is going to be having each weekend. Should be a lot of fun, and hopefully I can help the team out a little bit uh, in those wars. But for now, uh, let's hang out and wait for the next person to go in live. Alright, look away for a second, and here we go. Uh, Tom Bombadil. Okay, I'm not going to say this because... Lord of the Rings fans are going to get triggered. Still haven't figured out how to say this. Um, it is a Lord of the Rings character, I'm told. 
Uh, I've seen The Hobbit, that's about it. So, um, and only one of The Hobbits, I think. So, I'm not the most educated person when it comes to these kind of these kind of characters, but uh, Tom, we'll just call him Tom's going in here, and actually good stuff, encountered that Tesla farm perfectly, and it's reachable by the queen, so she takes out three, or was it four, I think four Teslas, all four of them, and perfect, good stuff there. Now the air defense, yeah, looks, looks like a seeking air mine takes out one of the healers, and the air defense doesn't quite get the other, so still has all but one of his healers left up. The king uh, came back into the base. I missed how he did that. It looked like, looked like he was going to walk there, but he's back in. This is a La Luna attack. We'll see how it works out. The queen's going to be caught up on that hound. I don't know about the rage there. It's not going to really help anything because she can one-shot those pups anyway, so the rage wasn't doing much. There wasn't any damage on her. No real need for that in my opinion. And that jump was late on the king. He was beating. He actually went through the entire wall on his own because the jump wasn't down yet. I don't. Th I don't see any reason to have not put the jump down. So, a few mistakes. I guess you could call them. Uh, we'll see how he can uh, adjust, rebound. I think th things are still going okay for him. Uh, he got looks like two air defenses taken out. The third one just went down to the loons. Here comes the last lava hound. Looks like his tanking's pretty good. The only thing is the queen is still up and he doesn't have like a skelly spell or anything. We'll have to see if the queen goes down or if she's an ongoing issue. There is the rage uh, to help the balloons out a little bit. Not that many defenses left up, but the queen and or did she just go? Nope, she's still up. It looks like uh, lava hound going over right there. It explodes. Um. Okay, queen goes down to the pups. That actually works out well. I didn't think she was going to go down, but she does. Things are actually looking pretty good, but he only has 40 seconds left. Yeah, this one not going to be a three-star. I just can't see it, especially with that town hall up on the other side and just like one archer on it, or now two, but that's not going to get it down in time. Too much base left up. There will be enough troops as soon as the expo goes down, but with the king, um, with the, uh, yeah, there's going to be too much left up. So nice try to Tom there, but he cannot bring it home. Gandalf will be disappointed, I'm afraid. A uh, nice try there. We'll give him a nice try. Hate the autocorrect. Um, I've probably typed NT so many times on my iPhone, but it always has like some kind of autocorrection unless you specifically say that that's what you want to say. Kind of a side note there. I digress. But anyway, we'll go ahead and back out. It's no one else going in live. Uh, so anyway, nice try, Tom. We'll hang out. Probably can catch a few more Town Hall 9s. If not, some higher level attacks. We'll have to wait and see. Be right back. And right back at it, uh, had to just hit record right as I went into here so you couldn't see the uh, the background, but this is an attack on their number 22, another Town Hall 9 of course, we have Legendary, and let's see what he's got going here, it's going to be a queen walk it looks like, uh, popular thing today, goes ahead and drops that rage, once again that rage maybe not needed, the queen went down pretty quickly, I think just the queen versus the king, especially level 30 queen, can deal with the king as long as she has her healers on her and no other defenses. So that rage, probably not needed. I guess it does help with the CC troops a little bit, but also not a big deal. I don't think he got the full CC lure there. There's probably going to be, because there's only a, some minions that came out, there's going to be more stuff in there, I think. Uh, let's see here. There goes the golem coming in, wizard to create the funnel, the queen creating the funnel on the other side. So a pretty good setup, but that golem is taking so much unnecessary damage. It wasn't really even tanking for anything. The wizards wouldn't have been targeted anyway. So that one golem looks like it was pretty much wasted. There goes the second golem. It'll be the first golem that actually tanks for anything. Uh, so not the best setup there, but things are going in. The funnel is created, with this, which is the important thing. And the king going in with everything else following. Nice big core in the middle. I assume he's going to rage up those bowlers. Pretty standard stuff at this point. And let them just go to town on the base here. Here come the hogs. Already starting in with the hogs on the right side there. Getting that archer tower while it's distracted. That's how you want to do it. The healer's still up helping out. The bowlers keeping everything up. There were a few giant bombs in the core. But actually the bowlers survived most of that. So they'll be up to at least... Uh, almost get that expo taken out the queen still going strong has her healers on her and the last few hogs coming through uh, this one looks like it's going to be a three star yep 
uh, double giant bomb, but actually, no, that's not going to be too much of an issue. The queen's still up, still quite a few hogs. Plenty for cleanup, plenty of time. Good stuff there. We'll go ahead and give the word train, and uh, yeah, that'll do it. Uh, an awesome attack. Doing pretty good today in terms of uh, success rate on the Town Hall 9s. Always good to see. Like I said, I mean, a lot of this is preparation for the CWL premiere. That's probably the biggest thing Genesis has coming up. We want to, you know, have a strong performance, especially having, after having to drop out of the, uh, the CWL Season 1. So, should be an exciting time, and things are looking great. I uh, got some awesome attacks like this one, although he has to have an archer for that builder's hut. That is something that we don't want to see too much of, uh, but luckily he has enough time for his troops to scatter down there and get it. But anyway, yeah, hopefully he can get something besides Town Hall 9s, but if it's just Town Hall 9s, I guess that'll be okay too. I should catch a few more. Uh, be right back. <clears throat> Alrighty. Uh, King. Going in here against a lower level Town Hall 9, it looks like. Uh, yeah, uh, another hog attack. Has, uh, yeah, two golems. Yeah, two golems, 23 hogs. Uh, nice funnel here at the bottom. Has the jump spell to let everything on in. Coming at the queen, he'll get the CC troops as well. Bowlers behind. Pretty standard stuff to what we typically see. Um... Uh, Golems didn't last terribly long, but his troops are in the base, and that's the important thing. Similar to the last attack, or the, actually the bowler, a few bowlers did walk, and the king's walking now too. So maybe not the best place to funnel, but regardless, has a solid amount of troops in the middle here. First heal's on the right side, next heal is on the top. Could have been a little bit earlier, because quite a few hogs did die. But he's coming at this base um, pretty much from all angles. It has mostly Town Hall 8 level defenses, to be honest. So probably a bit of a bully attack, but, um, you know, it is what it is. Still a Town Hall 9 base. Still has to be done. And it might be a little bit close here, it looks like. Um, yeah, those bowlers are just too powerful. The heroes are too powerful. And I think, yeah, he's going he's gonna to get through here, get those last few defenses taken out. A little bit closer than it should be probably, but nonetheless, we'll get the three star here. Um, trying to think for Town Hall 9, there wasn't too many uh, major changes we saw in the balancing update. Just everything, I guess, a little bit easier between P.E.K.K.A.s, Dragons, but we're seeing still the same stuff. Either the uh, Stoned Hobo or Shattered ho or whatever, the Golem Hog Attack, whatever you want to call it, the Hobo in some sense and the La Luna attack. So we're seeing pretty much the same stuff. Haven't seen many people uh, try the Witches or the Dragons or the Pekkas at Town Hall 9. So we'll have to kind of wait and see. I might take a few, uh, a week or two for the friendly challenges to go about and for people to really experiment with those and feel comfortable. But I think we might, you know, see those a little bit later on. Uh, but anyway, that'll do it for this attack. I will go ahead and back out here. And got a defense. I might catch one more for you guys. I'll be right back, hopefully, with one more. We'll see about that. All right, here we go. This is another Town Hall 9. This is going to be the last one for today. So all Town Hall 9. Uh, but is this legendary again? Okay, his second attack. This is like the, the sixth attack I think I've recorded today. So very long video for you guys. Hope you like it. Uh, but two attacks from Legendary. Let's see. I think he got the first one successfully, I want to say. Yeah, I think he was. Yeah, he got the three star. Um, so we'll see if he can go two for two, get the six pack for us today. Um, this is going to be a La Luna attack. Has the hastes and the heal. So a little bit different stuff there. I guess not too different. Those are pretty common. But the heal, a uh, nice little touch there. Pretty simple kill squad really um he didn't get an air defense yet we'll see if his queen will step up and get that first air defense right now it's not an issue so no big deal if, if it takes a few a few moments for her to get it but the balloons coming through the lava pups actually the defensive lava pups kind of an issue because they they drifted over and started to do work on his balloons and his hounds but most of them are down at this point here comes the next hound i get yeah and the uh 
the balloons coming through with the heal spell on them, taking out that Tesla area. The queen did get that air defense and the expo there. So she did her job. The kill squad was successful just a little bit late, but not a big deal. Um, out of Lava Hounds, but just the Wizard Tower and the Air Defense, I think. Yeah, with that haste, gets in there, gets that Air Defense, and there's the Wizard Tower. It'll go down right here. Good stuff to Legendary. Gets two three stars for us today. That'll do it for this video. It's just a matter of time as he cleans up. It looks like he does have plenty of time. Yeah, he'll get the three star here. But hope you guys like this video. Um, I Like I said, I did have to take down the last live one. Hopefully, we'll have to take this one down. Because um, a lot of times clans are a little bit sensitive, but these are, you know, mostly uh, fresh three stars, so shouldn't be too much of an issue here. Should be a good war, and we are disadvantaged, as you can see at the beginning, with some of those kind of engineered bases, you could call them. But shouldn't be too much of an issue, and I think we have a good shot despite that. Uh, you guys will probably hear the outcome and probably see some more attacks from this war, so stay tuned. But thank you guys for watching this one. Hope you liked the live attacks, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.